I'm actually sitting basically right in the entrance of the, this hostel is actually like two buildings, but so I'm sitting at the entrance of this building. So I might abruptly stop occasionally if someone's walking in, so I don't look crazy. It was a little awkward leaving the cat hostel, uh, the cat's hostel. So last night was a little uh, interesting. For the longest time I wasn't sure if I had anyone else in my room, 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. or something. Um, someone came in and turned on the AC, turned it to about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. I was in the top bunk and <laughs> I was like right next to the AC. So yeah, <laughs> I was like freezing all night. And then um, when they, by the time they, they, oh, my phone battery had died, so I kind of lost track of time. And then I think I finally got up around like 9. And part of the reason, like I said, I didn't know if anyone else was there until that happened. But like, so I was paranoid about like making any noise because on the top bunk, any movement makes noise. And like getting stuff out of my bag is constantly, you know, making that noise. It's not even that loud. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so I was getting out to go to the bathroom in the morning. I usually pack up all my stuff and take it with me, just on the off chance that something happens, I want to make sure it's all with me. Um, and uh, so I'd seen that someone was going into the bunk below me, so I figured, okay, they're awake. So it's not a big deal if I make noise to get out of bed. Uh, and then I come back to the room after going to the bathroom, and I find out that it wasn't the customer, it was one of the maids, and she was actually in my bed. And uh, like I had left some stuff on the shelf up there, just like some empty soda bottles and uh, my socks and some coins. And so I get up there and uh, uh, like this is only nine o'clock and I don't have to check out until twelve. And she's asking if I was checking out. I was like later. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then there's a little bit of a language barrier, but like so she had a plastic bag with the trash, which I appreciate her cleaning. But I was like I saw that there's my socks in there. I was like oh my socks. <laughs> and then uh, she like. Handed me my coins too, so she'd taken those. Hung around there for a little bit. I checked around around like 11 and then hung out in the little cafe area for a little bit after doing a tour of the building. And then I figured out my next hostel, which uh, I'm at now. Subway, the like usually the like jet not jetway the walkways or whatever from the because um, it's like an elevated train and the walkways will usually lead you into uh, either stairs going down the street or it'll be like going into a shopping center so I was going into this building and there's just a hotel. There's <laughs> a cool looking hotel. Um, I just kind of. <laughs> Try to, I like did kind of like a loop around trying to act casual like I didn't just accidentally walk into a hotel for no reason. I felt bad when I uh, first checked in because I generally I get to my hostels half an hour early and I understand that you're supposed to check in at 2 so I generally don't I generally don't try to check in until 2 um, so I uh, I asked I was like is it too early and she said yeah I was like okay can I just sit and they have like a lounge area so I was sitting at the table eating my snacks from uh, 7-Eleven for lunch and then uh, this girl walks in, and then she checks in. So I was like, oh, I guess I can check in. <laughs> um, and then so I go through the check-in process, and then I get into the other building. So I walk over to the other building, get into my bunk, and then I realize that I forgot my uh, bag of trash from 7-Eleven, so I like, ran over. <laughs> it was still sitting on the table. So I, I apologized and threw it away. But I felt bad. This might be my favorite uh, neighborhood so far. So one thing I really like in this area is uh, there's a lot of different little side streets. I found this random, <laughs> it was weird, it, was, it wasn't like manned by any person, but um, there were these uh, cages with like cats, I'm assuming they were for sale, I didn't see, like there were signs, but I didn't see anything for prices or anything. <laughs> I feel bad for them, got some good photos, but I feel bad for them, because um, it's hot and muggy out here. The area I'm staying at is like right off of one of the train stations, or train stops, which is another reason I like it. Um, but uh, when, I, when I got here, I was trying to figure out what to do for lunch, like I always am. And uh, I was looking at the options, and across the street, there's a place that, or there's a cat cafe. Um, but I just felt so sweaty and gross, and I didn't get a chance to take a shower until after I got to the hostel, because I didn't really want to 
go in there. <clears throat> um, and then uh, in that same area, there's like a some kind of wing buffet. It's like all you can eat wings. And I've learned that like wings aren't the same here, but like all you can eat, and I think it was like $8 um, total for the all you can eat. And it wasn't just wings, they had different little side dishes too. Um, so at some point, I might go over there. The main reason I didn't have any for lunch, I'm never that hungry at lunch. And also, I, like, I just had chicken last night, so I don't want to have that much chicken. But now that I know where it is, it's like I could just get off the train at some point. Um, and then, like, across from that, there's like a it's like rock pub where they have a lot of live music, but they were closed today. When I was crossing back from the Wings and Cat Cafe, my socks keep falling off. I saw people, like, traffic was really blocked up going one way, and there was, like, no traffic coming the other way, and then some people were looking over, and then I saw in the distance there was, uh, like, police lights. And then a whole motorcade came. I don't know if it was actually, like, the king or, like, some kind of monarch, or if it was just, like, a government official, but it was, seemed fairly, uh, elaborate. So that was <laughs> random. It's like if I didn't decide to randomly go check out the cat cafe, I wouldn't have been within visual, uh, within sight of the king, apparently, uh, possibly. It's <laughs> just funny that, like, I'm, my whole itinerary is just kind of a series of whims, and I keep having weird little coincidences. I guess that was the only one. I have weird things happen, but not, I guess not coincidence like that. Oh, that leg is itchy. No me gusta. I didn't really want to have 7-Eleven again for dinner, so I was tempted to do the wings, but uh, and then I found a, there's a place a little bit north of here called a, um, Heap. It's like probably my favorite place that I've been to so far, <laughs> as far as, like, food, um, because it's, I feel bad, because, like, uh, it's more westernized, I should be going to more exotic stuff here, but, uh, they had, like, really good, uh, Thai food, and, uh, so I had, uh, I don't know, it was basically a chicken with, uh, it was, like, um, fried chicken with, um, rice and, uh, some spice, um, peppers, and I guess it was fish sauce, and, which I'm finding that I'm, like, addicted to fish sauce and peppers. That entree was, like, three dollars <laughs> um and then beers were like a buck or two like after i finished my meal um a uh, band was setting up so i asked my bar my uh, waiter if i could move to the other corner of the bar he said yeah <laughs> which uh was good and bad i got to sit right by right in front of the band it was kind of awkward because i didn't realize i was like right in the um line of sight of the singer, um, so I had to, like, <laughs> I don't want to be just, like, staring at her, so I'd kind of, uh, look away occasionally, um, but she's a good singer. I can't tell if all of the songs are in English. Um, some of them were, but uh, and then uh, there was like a birthday party after the first song, so I didn't really get any footage after the first song because I don't want to like be filming the party, make them feel weird. Um, but so the the downside of moving over there was uh, I didn't get any service again from my bartender, or my my uh, waiter. Which I mean, I had a few beers, so I wasn't really needing any, but like I wanted to stick around longer for the music, and I didn't want to be, just be sitting there. And then after a while, I just wanted the check, and he wasn't even coming by for the check, so I had to actually flag him down 
yeah, this place is, it's near those malls, which I like, and it's right on transit so I can easily get to other parts. Like, I can, I can get from here to the airport probably in, like, 40 minutes um, for a couple bucks. It's basically, like, the midpoint between a lot of the things that I want to go to. I think I finally remembered to film this, uh, instead of having, like, full-on laundromats here, which they might have some, um, but in general I've seen them on the, like, at least in the um, more rural areas, or I guess rural, the side streets. Um, they'll have just, like, washers and dryers just set up along the street, and then you just, or you insert your coins, and then you can come and check on them. I thought that was interesting. Laun doing laundry is always awkward for me because I don't have, like, I could do, like, half a load, or a decent-sized load, if I were to, like, wash all my clothes, but then I'm not wearing anything. So, like, I'm tempted to get, like, a cheap pair of shorts and a cheap t-shirt just to have in reserves while I'm washing everything. I think people are coming in. Possibly. No? Maybe. No. It's like go to bed, but it's only it's only eight forty right now, so I'm not that tired. Uh, yep. A little bit of work. Start editing this video. Okay. I'm rambling. Until tomorrow. When weird little thing I've been noticing now that I'm spending more time in hostels as opposed to hotels is that uh, a lot of times the community areas don't really get used. So, like, I basically feel like I'm a rich person, just kind of randomly hanging out in my living room. My computer, my <laughs> big screen TV, knickknacks and bric-a-bracks. It's crazy.